Going over to the business blunder of the day, you have Chase having an outage that takes out Zeely or Zell, whatever you want to call the bloody app. Now, Zell, a little bit of history and background of what it is, it was launched in April 2011 and called Clear Exchange. It was actually launched and originally owned by Bank of America, JP Morgan, Chase, and Wells Fargo. And it was a service centered around person to person, business to consumer, and government to consumer payments. And back in 2016, Clear Exchange was sold to Early Warning Capital. However, Early, Early Warning Capital is owned by Bank of America, True, Truist, Capital One, JP Morgan Chase, PNC Bank, US Bank, and Wells Fargo. So it's owned by pretty much all the major banks. And from a business to consumer perspective, it's a very helpful thing. Instead of having to wait days for a traditional wire transfer, you can just use the Zealy app much more expediently and gets cash seemingly almost instantly, relatively speaking. Now, it looks like recently, last Tuesday, Twitter, their little Twitter profile on Zealy said that the network was functioning normally and they actually pointed the finger to Chase, saying that they were experiencing trouble with payment processing, which is kind of hilarious because Chase owns a part of it, kind of like a kid blaming their parent, be like, oh no, no, it's not my apology, it was theirs, which technologically speaking, you, put, you might need a, for, yeah, I don't know, a forensic analyst, but you have to look into it to see you know, what side of it really dropped the ball. It's a cliche in IT, everyone always blames the network, which when you're when you work in networking can be quite frustrating, but sometimes it's a much more complex issue than it seems. Now, it did tweet that the rest, Tweely, uh, Zeely tweeted that the rest of their network was up and running, but Chase is one of their premier partners is in full control of the Zeely feature on their app. So they're saying that Chase is the one who's apparently in charge of the maintenance of, of that part now, Chase claimed they issued a statement saying, quote, they're working to restore full service to account transfers, Zealy payments, and bank pay and bill payments, unquote, but they didn't offer any details regarding the cause of the service, service outage or the duration. Now, according to Down Detectors, there's a fun little website you can check out where actually we'll tell you, based on reports, on uh, which websites are down or, or which ones are slow. And they said that collect that one had both experiences outages, both on Chase and Zealy. Now, it looks like the problem remained unsolved 12 hours later, and Down Detector suggested that severity had tapered off a little bit more as well. And of course, by now, it's been a little more time, it's probably fixed by now, but I don't know how, imagine how much money that costs from their perspective. Because they make a commission, some of their sales, every time money moves, a bank makes money. So there's a wire transfer fee or a Zeely fee, there are fees that up, and that's how they make a profit, or one of the ways they make a profit. So to have the core part of your business down for even a, even a minute could potentially cost them millions upon millions of dollars as so much money is being transferred and so many fees getting collected and nowadays banks are a lot of them view them as tech companies because so much technology is used to support and propel the businesses to have an issue that's quite literally at the core of your business and causes you to falter and lose money that that's got to be the business blunder of the day Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Also want to let everyone know we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of August. So I greatly appreciate you taking the time to click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to take the time to comment and like. Those things really help out the videos get shared more and more. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.